Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nate recalled on a previous encounter with Victor at the athletic club. Nate had volunteered to connect Victor to cognitive specialists who could diagnose and treat him. Victor had sworn Nate to secrecy on the subject, insisting that none of his children, particularly Adam, be made aware of the discussion. Nate was still thinking about the flashback when Mamie approached, greeted him, and sensed his melancholy. Nate admits to having another dispute at Newman Enterprises. Mamie got down to business, pleading with Nate to leave the upheaval at Newman Enterprises and rejoin his family at Chancellor Winters. Nate was apprehensive, stating that leaving Newman Enterprises would be a bad moment for him. Nate was informed by Mamie that the Newmans were solely concerned with their own interests, therefore he should consider his own. Nate stated that he couldn't abandon Victoria, but he remained tight-lipped about the details after Mamie hinted that things were getting unpleasant. Oh, come on, Mamie said, turning on the charm. You can't blame your auntie for making an effort. Nate inquired about Mamie's plan for Chancellor Winters, noting her comments that it would cause Jill's head to explode. All in good time, nephew, Mamie said. Everything will be oak. Nate refused to let the topic go and speculated that Mamie was preparing a coup, which he believed would be a terrible idea. Jack became anxious at the Abbott mansion after Diane conveyed a note from Mrs. Martinez claiming that Ashley had left the house early to tie up loose ends. Jack was afraid Ashley was with Tucker. Jack grew irritated after repeatedly calling Ashley and getting her voicemail. Because Ashley felt obligated to approach Tucker, Diane persuaded Jack to drop the matter. Jack, irritated, told Diane that he couldn't help but be concerned about Ashley's attempt to dupe Tucker into signing a truce. Diane wondered why it was different for Ashley after observing that Jack and Billy had attempted the same thing. Billy and I haven't married him twice, Jack said. Diane observed that Ashley knew Tucker better than anyone else. Jack exhaled deeply and sobbed, realizing that all Tucker had ever done was manipulate and frighten Ashley. When Kyle walked in, Jack was shouting about how Tucker had harmed the Abbots. Kyle informed Jack and Diane that he would spend part of the day with Harrison in the park before leaving him in the care of his nanny. Kyle stated that he had an appointment to inquire about a potential employment, which he declined to discuss. Kyle was asked to stop looking for other jobs and return to Jabot by Jack. Kyle responded, All you'd have to do is replace Billy with me. Kyle was offered the position of COO of Jabot by Jack. Kyle declined Jack's offer calling the CUO post a downgrade. Kyle pushed on being reinstated to his previous post. Jack stayed deafeningly silent. Kyle, disappointed, muttered, Thanks anyway, Dad. Diane informed Jack that Kyle was correct about the CUO post being a demotion. Diane pushed Jack to fire Billy before he harmed Jabot and rehire Kyle as co-CEO. Jack told Diane that he was afraid Billy would suffer mentally and emotionally if he was removed from his position, and that Jabot was his brother's legacy. Kyle's legacy, according to Diane, was Jabot. Kyle, according to Jack, belonged to the younger generation. Diane urged that Jack step down and leave Kyle and Billy in charge of Jabot. Diane put her hands on Jack's shoulders and pleaded with him to make time for them to travel and spend vacations with Harrison. When he imagined Billy and Kyle working together, Jack wondered aloud how long it would be before the two men killed each other. Ashley walked into Tucker's athletic club suite. Tucker readily stated that he had not concocted any sinister conspiracy against the Abbots after Ashley dispelled Tucker's attempts to avoid the matter at hand. Ashley shook her head and said, I hope it's true. Tucker speculated that Ashley intended to run him out of town. Tucker was surprised when Ashley stated, I'm sorry. Tucker, skeptical of Ashley's sincerity, asked her to clarify what an honest apology included. Ashley proposed that she and Tucker work together to figure out the I'm sorry section. Tucker asked that he and Ashley erase everything that transpired after their fight and forget about it. Ashley sobbed, saying she couldn't, 
not after what had occurred. Tucker groaned and admitted that Ashley would never detach herself from Javad, nor would she be sad for abandoning plans to form their own company. Ashley remembered how Tucker's rage, fueled by assertions that she had rejected him, had horrified her. Ashley questioned Tucker's willingness to accept responsibility for his actions. Ashley fought back tears as she remembered Tucker exploding in a rage. Tucker apologized for his reaction, but not for what he said. Ashley admitted that Tucker had thought she was tearing his world apart. Ashley stated that her changes of heart had evolved and were not intended to harm Tucker. Ashley pleaded with Tucker to let go of their rage. Tucker inquired about Ashley's willingness to make amends. Ashley replied that she didn't know the answer to his query. Tucker inquired as to what Ashley intended him to do. Ashley said that she didn't know and advised that they both accept that they were equally responsible for what had transpired. Ashley noticed Mamie and Nate as she left Tucker's suite and headed downstairs to the dining area. Ashley came up to me and said, I heard you were in town. Mamie shrieked with delight as she embraced Ashley and exclaimed, She looks wonderful. Nate was greeted warmly by Ashley. Ashley's marriage had not worked out, and Mamie expressed her regret. Ashley insisted that she would be Oak. Nate noticed Tucker's text message appear on Mamie's phone. A meeting was sought in the mail. Nate questioned his aunt if everything was okay after seeing a shift in Mamie's manner after reading Tucker's message. Mamie slid her phone into her purse and pretended everything was fine if Nate promised to join her at Chancellor Winters. Ashley asked Nate how things were doing at Newman Enterprises before she and Mamie left together. Nate's response was, business as usual. Ashley stopped for a moment to reflect before responding. Okay. Mamie promised to stay in touch with Nate. Kyle stood in Chancellor Park, watching Harrison kick a soccer ball. During a flashback, Kyle reflected on an incident he had with Audra. Kyle remembers asking Audra why he should join forces with Tucker McCall. Tucker, according to Audra, would eventually gain control of Javit. Audra had vowed that after Tucker took over the company, she and Kyle would run it together. Audra had persuaded Kyle to think about what was best for himself, rather than accepting whatever crumbs his family thrown his way. Kyle had shouted out that Audra's proposal would bring the Abbott family dynasty to an end. Audra had warned Kyle that turning down her offer to join forces with Tucker would be a lifetime mistake. Kyle had made up his mind, claiming that he earned the job his father had denied him. Audra happened to walk by as Harrison skillfully kicked his soccer ball at Kyle. Audra lauded Harrison's abilities. Kyle was taken aback when Audra explained that Tucker, who was suspicious, had asked Kyle to prove himself by completing a loyalty test. Kyle admitted that it was possible that he would tell his father what Tucker was up to. Audra went on to say that Kyle would betray her as well. Kyle informed Audra that his father had once again disappointed him by failing to place him in Billy's job and instead offered him the post of CUO. Kyle added that Jack was concerned that removing Billy would have a negative impact on Billy's delicate psyche. Kyle stated that his father did not want to bear the burden of sending Billy to dangerous regions. What kind of dark places? Audra asked. Kyle hesitated, listing gambling and drinking before emphasizing that, despite their differences, Billy was still his uncle. When Tucker wrested Jabot from Jack and Billy, Audra warned that they would combust, and she asked Kyle whether he could handle it. Kyle changed the subject and informed Audra that Ashley had returned from Paris. Audra, surprised, said she had not expected Ashley's return. Audra, clearly concerned, asked Kyle if Ashley had indicated any plans to rejoin with Tucker. Audra persisted in badgering Kyle, questioning whether or not Ashley had discussed the fight with Tucker before he abruptly left Paris. Kyle mentioned that he and Ashley had had a quick conversation. Kyle had informed Audra of Ashley's warning that Audra would try to exploit him. Audra giggled, saying, I can't wait to hear how I'm doing that. According to Ashley, Audra and Tucker were using Kyle to gather information about her, Jabbit, and the Abbots. 
Kyle admitted that he was an excellent source of information, which is why Tucker's strategy will benefit them all. As long as I get what I want, Kyle concluded, I'm good. Audra inquired of Kyle whether Ashley had placed a seed of mistrust. Kyle remembered his folks thinking he was using Audra as a distraction after he split up with Summer. Kyle remarked that despite everything, he was still with Audra. Kyle inquired about Tucker's plans for taking over Jabot. Before Audra could respond, Tucker texted her, asking in meeting with Kyle. Kyle told Audra to check with Tucker to make sure he was ready. Audra called Tucker and informed him that Ashley had returned to town after Kyle had gone to meet with Harrison's babysitter. Tucker stated that Ashley had just left his room, but he did not elaborate on the unexpected reconnection. When Audra and Kyle entered the athletic club, they ran into Nate. Hey, weren't you fired? Nate said to Kyle. Kyle said, I was. Nate reminded Audra of Nikki's advice to keep her distance from Kyle if she wanted to keep her job. Nate, what is your business? Audra said, and why should you care? Nate groaned and responded, I shouldn't care. Nate texted Lily and Devon after Audra and Kyle had gone upstairs, requesting that they meet to discuss Aunt Mamie. Ashley and Mamie walked into the Abbott house together. Mamie told Jack and Diane that she ran into Ashley at the athletic club and was worried about how she was doing after her marriage had unexpectedly fallen apart. So, you went to the club? Jack asked. Ashley informed Jack of her meeting with Tucker. Jack told Ashley that he had nearly urged her to avoid Tucker, citing Tucker's volatile and dangerous nature. Jack reminded Ashley of how Tucker had terrorized her the last time they were together. Ashley said that she had the best opportunity of getting inside Tucker's head and figuring out what he was up to. Tucker had been aware of Ashley's intentions as soon as he opened his door and saw her. Ashley said that she had begun the process of apologizing. Ashley implored Jack to stay away from Tucker and let everything go. Audra and Kyle walked into Tucker's suite. Tucker stated that he believed Kyle was willing to betray his family in order to help Tucker and Audra secure their position at Jabut. Kyle stammered back that he would not have said it exactly as Tucker did. Tucker responded, It's a yes or no question. Kyle asserted that he was prepared. Tucker asked that Kyle demonstrate that he was telling the truth. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.